Hi guys, Capri Smith, the Uncuff Living Expert and Senior Director and Mary Kay of the Uncuff Boss Beauties. And if you've been paying attention to my social media, I've really been trying to make sure my tribe is straight and make sure that we're okay. And we realize that this pause and what seems like a pause in time is really a reset. It's an opportunity for us to really hone in on the things that are important, the things that we love to do to build our brands, to, to begin our legacies and really think about what will history write about you in this moment. Did you fold up in fear and just run away and hide? Or did you continue to do the things that you profess that you would do to help your tribe, to help the world and to help your community? So I wanted us to talk about three things that will really help propel who we are out there right now, tomorrow, and the day after, no matter what happens. You have to, and people will tell you, tell your story, tell your story, but they don't know what that really means. What it means for you to tell your story is to show vulnerability, to be very honest and transparent, and you have to let go some of the protection that you have over your soft spaces. Telling a story means that you understand the impact of the things that you've gone through, your life lessons, you're coming from a position of winning, a position of over conquering, like coming over, overcoming things. You're coming from a position where you're saying that nothing holds authority over me but God. Not anything that I've been through, not anything that I thought was horrific, nothing. And because of that, I'm willing to share my life's lesson. That's what it means to tell your story. Then you have to decide how, you, how are you gonna tell your story? Are you gonna stay in a place where you're like, you know, these life's lessons should be neatly packaged in a book or a play or whatever, medium you decide to push it out and you really need to make a decision how are you going to show up how is your story going to show up and when you decide i'll tell you that your tribe will then help direct your next steps you get to decide no one can tell you what to do right i get that but your tribe will tell you what they need and it's going to show to you they're going to mirror to you what they're getting from you and you'll decide if you're giving more or not for instance when i first started my nonprofit, it was one teaching families about healthy relationships and dealing with the messages that they've been um, delivered throughout life. And it evolved to women uncuffed. It turned into something bigger than me. It turned into a movement. And now other people are saying uncuffed, uncuffed, a woman uncuffed. And they're using it in many different ways. And the beautiful thing about that is that I couldn't could, I could have sat down and said, I'm going to be the uncuffed living expert. And I'm going to be, you know, showcased and, and just have all of this favor in so many areas of my life. I couldn't have predicted that. It took some self-work. It took me to legitimize my message by being authentic and vulnerable. It took me to put my message out and then it took me to really pay attention to what my tribe was mirroring to me. I love that I, I reflect to other women what it means to live a limitless life, like not to have anything holding you back and to just take chances upon chances and get it right a lot, right? And I'm not saying that I'm perfect and I'm not saying that my tribe is perfect, but I am saying that we are women that have put in self-work and we know where we're going, we know what our next steps are. So in order for you to really identify what your next steps are, think about what were your first steps? How were you raised? What were you demonstrated? What was shown to you? What are some things that are being said about you? And what does that mean to you? Do you agree with them? Are you going to continue to live in this box because someone put you there? Or are you going to show the world something different? And then you think about what does the younger you look like? Not the actual younger you, but what are some people that are younger than you that you see going down the same path that could benefit from lessons that you've learned? Pull them in and teach them first and then broaden your scope. A lot of people want to jump on the stage first, right? But you don't necessarily belong on the stage first. Sometimes you have to put in more work to legitimize your stuff to get on that stage so that when you're on that stage, the audience is captivated and they're learning something from you just like they're being uncuffed by me. And then I want you to think about, okay, so if I were not me, what would I say about me? Because we often are our biggest critics, right? But the part we get wrong is that some of our information and, and things that we do should be checked. It should not continue. It should be not criticized, but critiqued. And why not you? You're the authority of you. You're the star of your own show. If you watch Dr. Phil, you are the person that knows you the best. So when things hurt the most, when you hear them, they might actually be true. And it might require a little, a little more self-work in that area. So I'm not here to beat up on you. Trust me, you guys are probably doing enough of that yourselves. I'm here to say, Whatever it is that you decide to do, you rock that thing out. And the way to rock it out is to eliminate the guilt and shame that you think
link may be attached to your story, whatever that is. You tell it. You move past it and you keep going so that you can uncuff a nation of women who will thrive in every area of their lives when they will know they're uncuffed in their life. They know they're uncuffed in their business and they are uncuffing their legacies. Yes, we are continuing with the Women's Uncuffed Colloquium, a coming together of the minds just to have a conversation, real conversations where we're helping women in different areas of their lives and we're having it in a spring intensive virtually. Clearly virtually is the way to go, but did you know I have a whole YouTube channel filled with virtual tidbits and techniques and listen, I need your help. I would love for you to go there, hit like, hit share, share the messages if you think they're powerful, share them if you don't think they're powerful because they're going to touch someone. And I just want to encourage you guys to continue to push your own messages out. Step away from the TV just for a second. Give God some honor and praise often and daily, right? Because it comes down to why were you put to, on this earth? You were put on this earth to show him the glory, to worship him, to praise him, but he also expects you to do your part. So the way that I'm honoring him is I'm doing my part to uncuff women in their lives, in their businesses, and ultimately their legacies. I'm always try building. If you think you have a powerful mm -hmm. message and you want in on the colloquium, if you want in on my 24-day um, uncuffing challenge, if you just want in to my world, let's connect. It's a lot of fun here. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.